Welcome back, everybody. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do another lead code question. This is a lead code question 1051, and it's called Height Checker. So this is how the problem goes. Students are asked to stand in a non-decreasing order of height for an annual photo. Return the minimum number of students not standing in the right position. This is the number of students that moved in order for all the students to be standing in a non-decreasing order of height. So um, this is the example. We have 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3. Okay? So what it's asking is for the moves in order for all students to be standing in a non-decreasing order of height. What that means is that what we want is um, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That would be the correct order in which the students have to move. But as you can see, what kind of switched around was the 1, the 4, and the 3. So the 1 would move where the 4 is, the 3 would move uh, where the 1 is, and the 4 would have to move all the way back where the 3 is. So this is why it says that the output should be 3. Okay, we have, so like it says, the students with heights 3, 4, and the last 1 are not standing in the right positions. So this is where we're going to start. So we have the definition, height checker, that takes in a height, which is the array, um, and that's pretty much it. So what we need to do is figure out how we're going to start this. Um, so one way we can figure this out is we're going to have to sort it first. Well, why exactly? It's because we're trying to understand how we can get a non-decreasing order of heights. Um, so what that means is we have to put it in sorted order. So one way of doing that is to just hit sorted, which is Python's way of sorting an array, and then heights. Okay. What I'm also going to do right now is I'm also going to print the original one, just for our reference. And then in order to run a Python program, you do Python, and then the name of the file, and then .py. There we go. So right here we have one one. 4, 2, 1, 3, which is the original, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, was now the new one. What we're kind of seeing is that, like it, like we said earlier, we need to replace where the 4 is, the 1 is, and that 3 is. And that is exactly what the sorted does. All we can do, and what there's one way to do this, is to actually compare the sorted from the non-sorted array and keep track of how many times we're moving that value. Okay, so back to the program. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a for loop. What this for loop would do is we're gonna do the comparison from the sorted array to the non-sorted array. So that would be for i in range. For the range, I'm actually gonna replace this print statement. I'm gonna put n equals len, which is the length of the array. So what that means is it's going to go from 0 to n, however long the array may be. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do our comparison. Well before that we're actually going to take our sorted and we're going to give that a value as well. And declare a value that is the sorted stuff. So x will be starting at 0. So, so far we haven't moved anything, x will be at 0. So now we're going to do is make an if statement that compares the height i, so the original, and checks if it's not the same with the list i. And then what it's going to return is x plus equals 1. What we're going to return is the x. So what's going on here is that what we're going to do is we're going to go through each value in, in the array. So what we're going to do is say i is 0, so height of 0, compare that to list of 0, which is the sorted number, um, and we're going to check what that is. So like we did, so like right here, what we're going to check is 1, 1, 
that's good, 1-1, one, one, and we're going to check 4-1. So on the third i, which would be i is equal to 2, so in height of 2, compare that to the list of 2, we're going to actually have a difference. So this is when the x is going to increment by 1. And then again, we'll see that with 1 and 3, and then 3 and 4. To run our program, again, we just do python name of the file dot py. Boom, there we go. Three is the correct answer. That's exactly what the output gives. So now let's just say we add more values. So let's add a four here, let's add a two here, and let's add a one here. And get rid of those spaces. And then again, there you go, seven. So that means there's a total of seven moves. This is lead code problem 1051, height checker. I'm going to continue to do more throughout the weeks and throughout the upcoming months, and I hope to, that you guys learn a lot. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, and please click that like button. Thank you.